Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Lindsay, and on today's video, I wanted to talk about mastering your selfish era and how to live a soft life. So as you guys are listening, just know that everything that I'm talking about has helped me in my life and throughout my journey. So all of these things I have implemented into my life and I have successfully been able to live a more selfish life and I absolutely love it here. Being selfish for me isn't a negative thing. It's all about living for yourself, someone who's hustling, someone who's living that girl lifestyle, someone who's prioritizing themselves, their health, and just becoming the best version of themselves. And I feel like all women are really need to hear Hear this because when you are focusing on yourself you're you're hiring your vibration and just it just feels like nothing or no one can stop you and it's just such a powerful thing in life that i feel like we all really need to master and i also know that i'm not a life coach but if i'm struggling there's women out there that are struggling as well and again if i can share what has helped me through my journey i am all here for it i just love being able to sit here and share what's helped me and just motivate you guys. So before I get started with the video, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. I'll have it right here on the screen. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below other topics you guys want me to talk about. Let's just get started with the video. I'm going to teach y'all all about living that girl lifestyle, how to live a soft life, and mastering your selfish era. So so the first thing that I did, which has helped me a lot, is evaluating where I am now. I feel like a lot of people forget about their current life and just look towards the future. And looking at the future is not a bad thing, trust me, I do it too. When we think about our future, we envision ourselves being happy and living the life that we want. Well, all that is great. You are not going to get there if you're not putting in the work now. So you really need to evaluate your life, assess where you are now, try to see if there's anything, anything anyone whatever it could be your relationship a friendship your job anything in life that is not benefiting you now it's not going to get you anywhere in life when you live a more selfish life you're living and working on yourself to be the best version of yourself so if this person this thing isn't benefiting you isn't bringing you any happiness any joy any money anything in your life you really need to eliminate whatever it is because right now is a time where you are focusing on yourself focusing on what you can do to live a better life when you are focusing on your present life and you're selfish your now becomes better and then your later will be even better if that makes any type of sense if you live a more selfish life I feel like you are accepting more happiness, more joy. You're living for yourself. And that's essentially what living a more soft life is. And when you're living a more soft life, you're implementing more self-love, more self-care into your life. You're taking care of your body, taking care of your health more than ever. And this is just going to invite more positive energy into your life. And that's exactly what you want. If you're working on yourself to become the best version of yourself. And I cannot stress this enough, ladies. That is the biggest thing that you guys can do for yourself. And you will thank yourself later on in the future if you start working on yourself now sooner than later. So as you are inviting all of this positive energy into your life and eliminating all the things that do not serve you, you're essentially living a life that's you're going to attract everything that you deserve in life. And I think that is very, it is very important to be selfish in certain aspects of your life. And that could be anything. That could be about your money, about your business, about self-love, about your body, your health, your mental health. Whatever that you prioritize in life, it is so important to be selfish about these things. For example, let's say you own a business and you sell a service and you rate your service at an X amount of dollars and you have a client who comes in and thinks that you are not worth, let's say they give you a low ball, a low ball number. If you know you're not worth that low ball number, do, like do not sell yourself up to that number. You might think that you're worth X amount of dollars and your next client might think that you're worth double the amount of dollars so it's very important to be selfish about certain things in your life because you know what you deserve there are certain things in your life that you need to be selfish about one of those things is your time your time is valuable whether it's being spent on it could be spent on a man girl take that energy and time that you spend it into a man and put that time and energy into yourself work on yourself do not spend your time or your energy on something that is not benefiting you for me what i was really selfish about in my journey was 
who I spend my time with, what I spend my time on, going out, my alone time, my health, my physical and my mental health, my money. Those are just things that I prioritize in my life, but that could look completely different for you. Sorry guys, my camera literally just died on me in the middle of filming and I hate that because I forget where I last um, left off. But I believe it was about talking about um, what you spend your time and your energy on. So I'm just gonna step back into there. I have everything like written down in my notes because I just wanna make sure that I got like all the best information. So if you're constantly around negative energy, you really need to align yourself and figure out if that's a life that you wanna live. If you wanna be surrounded by negative people and negative energy, hey, go ahead, live that life. But if you want more for yourself, if you want better for yourself, you need to align yourself and you need to stop wasting your time and energy on things that do not serve you, things that do not benefit you. I'm a big believer in where your energy goes, your energy flows. If you're constantly around negative people or you're constantly focusing your energy around negative situations in life, that's all you're gonna get back into your life. That's all that you're gonna be welcoming back into your life. And if you're constantly around positive, uplifting people, people that are full of abundance, that is what you're welcoming into your life. And I feel like that is something that a lot of people do not realize, especially in our generation. A lot of people do not realize this and it's very important. And I feel like I'm at the point in my life that these things that used to affect me don't even cross my mind anymore because I am just so in tuned with myself. And if something isn't going to bring me more happiness, more joy, more money, it does not it does not deserve a response from me at all i don't let others affect me or ruin my day if someone is saying negative things about you or someone is talking bad about you that does not that should not affect you it might affect you but then you really need to like you know think about it and say hey this has nothing to do with my happiness my joy if anything it's just more negative energy that is trying to destroy you and as you are now realizing what things in life you need to be spending your energy on, you have to be very disciplined for yourself. If you told yourself, I am not wasting my time or energy on this person or this situation anymore, you need to own that. You need to say, hey, hey, Lindsay, you told yourself that you were not going to mess with that person anymore. So stop it. If that person is not doing anything for you, you should not be wasting your time or energy on it. The next thing in life that you really need to master in order to live a more selfish life and a more soft life is prioritizing your health, whether it's physical or emotional health. So as an example, something that I've always struggled with is my physical health. My whole entire life, I always struggled with my weight and it's not that I wasn't confident because I'm always confident. I've been a very confident person my entire life, but it was just something about my body, something about my weight that I just never was completely happy about so the past couple months i have really put all of my time and my energy into fixing this one aspect in my life that i always struggled with and i am so happy and grateful that i did that because i was able to lose over 60 pounds in the last three months of my life and i'm at the happiest point in my life that I have been in a couple years I'm at my lowest weight that I have been in a long time and overall I just feel like this past year I have really stepped into my divine my prime year of my life and I have grown so much as a person this past year just doing all of these things and trying to be selfish with my time and my energy and just really focusing on things that benefit me in life all right my love so as i finish off this video i just want to make sure that you guys understand that everything that i talked about in this video has helped me become the person that i am today and has helped me throughout my journey and i can truly say that i am the best version of myself right now and i'm so grateful for it and i hope that i'm able to inspire you guys and motivate you guys to start working on your selfish life and become the best version of yourself so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you're following me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video bye my loves.